concentration, 40.4 grams of methyl propanoate is obtained from 18.3 grams of methanol. Calculate the percentage yield. Now remember, we always want to calculate the percentage yield of our product. In this case, it's methyl propanoate. So the first thing that we want to do is write out our formula. Percentage is equal to actual over theoretical times 100. You want to scan the information and what we can see is we've been given the actual yield of our methyl propanoate. So we substitute that in as 40.4 over T times 100. Now your theoretical is when you take the entities you're given information about in the question and we want to scale for the quantity of our reactant. So the entities we've been given is methanol, which has the formula CH3OH, and then we have the formula for our methyl propanoate. From the balanced e equation, we have a one-to-one -one ratio. We then need to multiply it by the unit they want us to work in the question. They have given us information about mass, so we do GFM times 1 and then 1 times GFM. The GFM of methanol is 32 and the GFM of methyl propanoate is 88. So when we put that into the calculator, that means that 32 grams of methanol should produce 88 grams of methyl propanoate. However, in the question, we've been given 18.3 grams of methanol. So we pot, want to pop that underneath. And then we cross multiply 88 grams times 18.3 divided by 32 gives us 50.325 grams. We're going to round that value to one decimal place because in the question they give our information to one decimal place. So we'll do 40.4 divided by 50.3 times by 100 and that gives us a percentage yield of 80.3%. This past paper question is from the Higher 2016 Written 7C Part 3. A student used 2.5 grams of ethanol and a slight excess of ethanoic acid to produce 2.9 grams of ethyl ethanoate. One mole of ethanol reacts with one mole of ethanoic acid to produce one mole of ethyl ethanoate. Calculate the percentage yield of ethyl ethanoate. The first thing that we have to do is we have to insert the formula. Percentage is equal to actual over theoretical times 100. We want to substitute the actual value of our product. And in the question, we have produced 2.9 grams. So percentage is equal to 2.9 over theoretical times 100. We then need to calculate the theoretical using the entities in the question. We are working with ethanol and ethyl ethanoate it's told us that it's in a one-to-one -one ratio. The unit they've given us information about is mass, so we're going to do GFM times one and one times GFM. The GFM of ethanol is 46, and the GFM of ethyl ethanoate is 88. When we multiply that out, that means that 46 grams produces 88 grams. In the question, we're not given 46 grams of ethanol, we are given 2.5 grams, and then we want to cross multiply. 88 times 2.5 divided by 46 gives us 4.78 grams. We can now substitute that in. So we now have percentage is equal to 2.9 divided by 4.78 multiplied by 100, and that gives us a percentage yield of 60.7%. This past paper question is from the Higher 2018 Written 12 B Part 3. We have given a balanced equation and it asks us to calculate the mass of phenol in kilograms produced from 117 kilograms of benzene if the percentage yield is 90%. So this question wants us to calculate the actual yield. So the formula this time, when we rearrange it, is actual is equal to percentage times theoretical divided by 100. We can substitute in the percentage. So we would have actual is equal to 90 multiplied by theoretical and divide by 100. We then do the same steps to work out the theoretical. We take down our entities that we're given information about in the question. 
and we have benzene, which is C6H6, and we have phenol, which is C6H5OH. We can see from the balanced equation, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And the information we're given is mass, so we're going to times by the GFM. The GFM of benzene is 78, and the GFM of phenol is 94. So that means that 78 grams of benzene will produce 94 grams of phenol. We're not given 78 grams, we're given 117 kilograms, and we'll cross multiply. 94 times 117 divided by 78 means that we should produce 141 kilograms of our phenol. We substitute that in. Actual is equal to 90 multiplied by 141 divided by 100, and it means that the actual mass of phenol produced is 126.9 kilograms.